Hey everybody, welcome back to Mobility RX here in Clearwater, Florida. I'm Luke Chiquetto and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about back pain. Uh, most of the times, clients come in with back pain, some sciatica, some type of uh, degenerative disc problem. Um, they're referred out from a doctor and they come to see me. We get them back moving again. That's the biggest thing I wanted to uh, describe to you guys today. And one of the easy, simple fix for that. Uh, it's pretty simple actually. Uh, to get you moving in the right direction. It's just understanding your anatomy and understanding your, your hips, okay? We're, we're born with one femur that may be a little bit longer than others. And I've got a diagram up here to show that. Um, we're gonna use the right side, uh, for instance, to show the difference in this. Now this particular diagram, I've got a piece of paper here, I'm gonna show you um, how that works. If you're, if you're not familiar with the anatomy, the femur is the longest bone in your body, and typically one side will be longer than the other. Um, so the hips are not going to be like this skeletal system that's this ergonomically correct positioning that's showing on this poster. Your hips typically will be uh, from the right side, or like I said, what you're speaking of, will be up and elevated because the muscles now are going to contract on a daily basis. So they're going to contract, 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 and the other side is going to get really weak. So one way that I have found that helps the majority of my clients that come through here is that I start to strengthen the other side, the opposing side, and I make them go home in the evening, and I'll show you a demonstration here in just a second on how you can determine what leg is longer. And when you determine what leg is longer, then you can start standing on your shorter leg, which then will start to contract those muscles and allow it to come back or, or have that tug of war match effect so that you don't have that constant imbalance or that constant crunch on your low back or your spine. And the way that happens sometimes, you got this piece of paper It'll tilt and it'll make its way all the way up to its shoulders. So now you're sitting in a position, your shoulders are in this position, just based upon the muscular system from the ergonomics of how our body is functioning through kinesiology. So a real quick demonstration on how to fix that is I'm gonna take my shirt off, I'm gonna show you a way to stand in front of a mirror and look from this perspective of the gapping between your arms when you're looking at it, if one side is really, really close to the pelvis or your, or your crease of your leg here, and the other side has a larger gap, then I want you to shift your weight until you're able to, to find that gap is correct. So let me go ahead and show you that how that works. Now I have done this myself, and when I've done it, I used to stand on my right side. So when I would stand on my right side, you can clearly see it's evident that this arm is closer than my left. And I used to get a lot of back pain uh, when I'd work out. I'd get, not a lot, but a, a substantial, more, much more than I would want in being in this field, in this fitness field. So what I would do is I learned that if I looked in the mirror and I shifted and played, and I shifted my weight back onto my shorter leg, once I found out this was my shorter leg, you can see that, this, that I'm starting to become symmetrical now. I don't have the asymmetry. So now I'm just gonna sit and relax and you can kind of look at that yourself. And now all I want you guys to do it from this video is take this video and go home and look in the mirror or wherever you're at and really try to find out what hip is longer or shorter. When you're able to discover which one is shorter, that's the one I want you to stand on. And now from that, when you're standing on it, you're gonna create uh, more muscles to, to retract and continue to, to build up so that you're gonna be able to sustain that posture for longevity and lessen the severity of your low back.